According to the National Emergency Management Agency, their officials say no fewer than 11 states are likely to feel the negative impact of the opening of the Lagdo Dam. The states include Adamawa, Taraba, Benue, Nasarawa, Kogi, Anambra, Edo, Delta, Bielsa, Rivers and Cross River. To avert any possible disaster that will likely follow the opening of the dam, stakeholders have set an agenda for the present administration in the area of mitigating the likely impact. Newell Thompson has more. On Sunday, reports filtered in that Cameroon has informed the federal government that it will soon open its Lagdo Dam. This prompted stakeholders to set agenda for the federal and affected state government on the need to mitigate flood disaster. Voices have been raised regarding the issues of flood, what the government needs to do. The government has a critical role. In this instance, the government has the most critical role to play in terms of creating an environment that would minimize the flood from happening. So how do we ensure that our rivers, the waterways are dredged? How do we ensure that citizens are enlightened to clear their drainages, do not build on waterways? So what are buildings and um, structures that are on waterways are removed from a um, from the um, law from the legal perspective through the rule of law not just demolishing people's property of course but going through the ambits of the law and also at the end of the day when the flood occurs what is our response how do we get people that have been affected to succor how do we ensure that when you say move to higher ground where is the higher ground how do we ensure that from now every local government creates that local governments that are prone to flooding, those local governments create a higher ground, a place that people can go to, not schools that we keep our children out of school. He also used the opportunity to tax non-government organizations to help in the flood mitigation effort and not leave it all to the government. Um, NGOs and INGOs uh, working in this area to make sure that we do, we raise more resources, we respond to women, to children, to um, persons with disability um, that are caught up in, in such situation. But most important thing is preventive. How do we prevent it from happening or how do we minimize it when uh, minimize the impact when it happens at the end of the day? In addition to causing significant economic damage, floods can also have serious public health implications, including injuries, waterborne diseases, and mental health issues. No, Samson, Trust TV News, Abuja.